How's it going, William? Good. How are you? Not bad. Uh, Joe D has said there's a true kicker competition going on among camp. So how is that going? How do you think the four candidates are kind of competing against each other? Yeah, it's uh, definitely been a real competition. Um, I know since spring, um, the four of us, including Mason, actually also is getting field goal reps. Um, I've been getting more reps than I ever have before. Um, enjoying it, um, some ups and downs, but definitely real competition. Everybody's getting a ton of reps. So. Um, you've been here for a couple of years now, uh, to actually like have a chance with a real competition where it seems is incredibly wide open. Like, is this kind of just what you were hoping for when you came to Carolina is like just a chance for an open competition? Yeah, I would definitely say, um, it's a great opportunity come up. Um, I know when I got here, um, you know, my initial expectations were to, you know, compete, but honestly, I, I don't think I was ready at that time. Um, I've needed these past like three years to develop, but definitely grateful for this opportunity. I'm just trying to do my best. Hey, William, you said you've had an, a substantial increase in the amount of kicks you're doing in practice this year. I got to ask, does that feel like more stress on you when you're out there, you know, kicking more? Is there more fatigue? What's kind of the deal with that? How do you kind of manage it? Um, Definitely more reps. Um, it can get a little fatiguing, but we um, one thing I think that Jody has done really well and us as a group has been to uh, manage our workload still. And then we do a lot of things to like help our bodies recover, obviously. Um, we'll do things during practice um, where if we're not necessarily kicking, um, we'll go in the weight room and get like recovery and stretch and do different things that way. So. William, a couple for you. Um, has Jody told you guys, you know, I'm going to have this date is when I name a starting kicker? Um, he's kind of made it sound like that it's going to be um, close to game time is when that competition is going to go as long as it's going to take until they figure out they got a guy. And I get it may go from day to day, but, um, you know, are there guys out there, that, you know, stronger legs, kicking longer field goals? I mean, I guess it, not necessarily who's got a leg up on the competition, but are there guys out there who are saying, like, okay, this is the guy I want because he can kick the longest? Um, I don't think there's really any of that uh, very much. Everybody's definitely got their sh strengths and weaknesses. Um, I would definitely say that Mason's got a really strong leg, um, you know, young guy, um, fresh legs. But I'd really say that um, all of us are kind of – even in terms of leg strength, you know, we kind of got the same range and everything. It's just a matter of, you know, where we're going to do good at. You and Alex are the older guys in this competition. You guys have both been around, waited your turn behind some other guys in the past. I got to ask, how do you go about separating, you know, the competition with the friendship and relationship that you guys have? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely difficult. Um, I've been hanging out with Alex for a long time. We actually um, live next door to each other, so we're always hanging out, good friends. Um, it's just a matter of we, we want each other to succeed, um, I'd say. But when it comes to um, kicking, I'd say it really just matters as soon as we get on the field is when that, that friendship, I mean, I'd say it never ends, but we both want each other to do good while also doing our best ourselves. You mentioned range. If you don't know a number off the top of your head, it's fine. But do you have about a number where you feel like you're comfortable kicking from inside right now? Um, not really. I don't have a specific number. You know, every day is different. Like today out there, super windy. Um, managed to have a good day, but different different settings, you know, different different kind of range. Are you guys all also competing to see who will handle kickoffs? Yes. Okay, so it could Kick be a competition it, also gotcha so it could be a different guy who's handling field goals and a different guy who's doing kickoffs yes yesterday alex mentioned that he kind of like grew up in this environment and always wanted to play for south carolina i know you're also from south carolina um was that something kind of do you relate to do you kind of you stuck around because this is something that you always wanted to do um honestly 
Uh, both my parents uh, went to Georgia Tech, so I kind of grew up a Georgia Tech fan, but still, I started kicking probably in ninth grade, and since then, you know, I've always kind of wanted to um, kick, and then I always watched guys like Georgia Tech, like Harrison Butker was someone I always looked up to um, back then, so. Uh, Joe D was mentioning that uh, he's kind of having a special teams thing to see who gets like playing time at Gunner and stuff by doing like, I think he said like the AFC North or something, but mm -hmm. having different things like that as a kicker, like how have you seen the competition between, you know, the Gunners and different people on special teams, the way that he's organizing it with, you know, four separate teams? Yeah, it really um, looks like everybody's getting a ton of reps the same way. Um, Really, I think he's just looking at guys who can put the technique that he's talking about on film and the guys that can do that the best. So, Has Jude, Joe D said anything about how many kickers he wants to take for each game's travel roster? He has not mentioned anything like that to us. No. Thank you, guys.